This is episode 015 of Glioblastocast. Do I have plans for my journey to the great beyond? Hello, and welcome to Glioblastocast, the podcast about my life beyond glioblastoma. I'm your host, Meg Teresek. In this episode, I'll answer the question, do I have plans for my journey to the great beyond? Specifically, do I have funeral plans and a will? In my show notes are some links to tools to help organize your wishes for the end. While my big plans are to stick around and survive glioblastoma for a long, long time, I can't deny as a human that at some point this will all come to an end and arrangements will have to be made. So, even though my most recent MRI was good and clear, I think this is the right time to put my wishes down on paper. It's much easier to think about this subject when it doesn't feel like time is running out. I have thought about it ever since I was diagnosed, and I did some preliminary sorting of my things when my sister visited a year ago to help. But the feelings were not so easy to get past to prepare a full plan, as I was just recovering from some scary scans. The thoughts of death and being gone felt a little too close to pick out what kind of flowers I would want. Jabera daisies, by the way. Now, though... As I've had a year's worth of good, no-new-growth scans, it's time to be more detailed. I'm doing my planning in a specific way, starting with the easiest stuff before getting into any potential emotional areas. This way, it's a slow path to the big emotions, and if the idea of of end-of-life planning is too hard, Starting with the easy steps can help get you to the frame of mind needed for the emotional details. So for me, the first step is an account password list. While plans for the inevitable are not just for cancer patients, we all know we should have a plan, but no one really wants to. I keep a pen and paper address book to list all my online accounts, from Amazon to my bank to my medical passwords, so that they're easily accessible when I forget what they are. I like to handwrite it and have a hard copy and to enjoy the process of handwriting. I did read somewhere a long time ago that it helps reinforce memory and brain power if you handwrite it. I also keep passwords and hints in a phone book app, so it's easy to find them. But there are lots of online options to help you safeguard all of your important information. And however you decide to list your accounts, keep them in a safe place. The next step would be to make a list of all of your important things that you want to leave to people. Your jewelry, your books, Anything of sentimental value. Now, I would just start with the list. You can always designate a recipient later, but at least you'd have a list to go from. It may help to take quick photos of your heirlooms, and it also might be good to purge the things that you don't use, you don't have any emotional attachment to. It's a good idea to donate, but mostly It's to organize and know what you have. And last, the details for your funeral. What kind of funeral or memorial service do you want? This is a good time to plan your preferences for readings, for music, for flowers. Do you want to be buried? Do you prefer cremation? I'm considering sending my ashes into space, and there will be a link for that on my website as well. Along with funeral choices, I also plan to write my own obituary. I mean, who knows best what happened in my life than me? I shouldn't leave that to someone else to figure out. 
I also plan to write letters to my inner circle of friends and family. Planning all these details and wishes can be emotional. That's why I look at the individual tasks and lists and don't plan to figure it all out at once. By making these decisions with a clear mind will be a big help to your family when the time comes. I still carry at the back of my heart the difficulty these decisions were to make when my mom died, so I really don't want anyone to have to go through that for me. Once my wishes are noted and easily accessible to my loved ones, then I don't have to think about them again, ever. You can check out my show page for some links to help in funeral planning. Thank you for listening. This is Glioblastocast, episode 15.